In this video here, we're going to talk about some news that was revealed a little bit ago about the future of the Madden franchise. Some changes that are going to be made potentially both on the development side, but also for the game itself. We're going to also kind of talk about some other new things EA is working on that we're going to be seeing come to Madden in the near future and just kind of talk about some of the info that's been coming out as the game has been released. And if you always want to be up to date with all the latest Madden or the NCAA football news that we're going to be getting more and more as we get closer to the release of that game, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you never miss any of these important videos now a little while ago there was actually some information that was revealed about some of the things that are going to be happening in the future for madden and the development team but for some reason a lot of people didn't hear about this news i didn't myself until somebody just pointed it out so even though this news has been out for a little bit i feel like it's still pretty new information for the majority of people so we're going to go over it today nea is also working on some new things that are going to likely be coming to madden soon as well which i find pretty interesting so if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you've probably heard me mention Mike Straw on this channel. He is a gaming journalist who covers all games, but he definitely specializes more in sports games, at least from my knowledge over the years. And he has leaked a lot of info about Madden and EA over the years. And it's almost always been true. Whoever his sources are are usually pretty in the know because if he puts out information, it almost always winds up being exactly what happens. Now, over the summer, he's the one that reported from his sources inside EA that Madden 24 was a make or break game. Many of you probably remember that. We all heard that this is a make or break game. And if things don't go according to the plan and aren't up to the expectations of the higher ups, that there were going to be some changes made within the development team. Now, some people heard that and thought that this meant that they would potentially lose the NFL license if that happened, which that was never really going to be the case for multiple reasons. Number one, from all accounts, the NFL seems pretty happy with their relationship with EA, regardless of what some fans might think. I mean, the game makes a ton of money. And at the end of the day, that's the thing the NFL cares about the most. And while some of the more hardcore fans, myself included, complain about the problems with the game, usually it's a lot of franchise mode or ultimate team players, the two most hardcore game modes. Obviously, those fans are going to complain about the things and the direction of the game, but you got to factor in the amount of casuals that play the game and don't really take it very seriously. And that's the majority of the Madden fan base. And that really goes for any sports games. The casuals dominate the market and they're not the ones you really hear from too much. They kind of just get on the game, they play casually, and they don't take too much issue with anything because they're not looking as deeply into the game as us hardcore fans are. So while it may seem like a lot of people dislike Madden, there's probably a lot of people that are pretty much okay with it. And from the NFL, that's good enough for them. But the other reason EA is really never, in my opinion, at risk of truly losing the license is because from all accounts, from everything we've heard from people inside the industry, there's no other company that's really trying to jump at the opportunity to make a NFL simulation game or just a football simulation game in general on a big scale. These big companies don't really want to invest the massive amount of money it takes to develop a brand new simulation football game. And it takes years of time and money then you got to get it to market and then you got to compete with another game and that's kind of why we don't see a lot of competition in sports gaming anymore because it just costs way too much to make these games now and if you got to go compete with another game to these companies the amount of investment it takes to get to that point just isn't worth it and while people think that 2k may want to come back and do this one day everything we've heard inside the industry says that they don't really have any interest in currently making a simulation football game and if they did they would have jumped at the opportunity to make an ncaa game once that kind of was green lit to come back because players could now be paid and put in the game they had no interest in doing that and if they really wanted to make a sim game they probably would have done that so while the game was said to be make or break it wasn't really too much because of the nfl it was more so just ea themselves knowing that the problems that they had been having with the game just could not continue and it was unacceptable well, since the game has come out, they have had some thoughts of how things have gone and we're going to get into all the changes that are going to happen in just a second. All up, stop right there. If you like money and you know sports, then you've got to be on Underdog Fantasy. Their pick'em game allows you to choose from a wide variety of player stats and all you simply have to do is pick higher or lower and if you know sports at all, this really isn't that hard and if they hit, you win money. And the best part about Underdog Fantasy is if you sign up using my promo code RAY, R-A-Y, they're going to give you a free play at sign up and they're also going to double your first deposit up to $100. So at sign up, basically, they will give you a random player that all he has to do is get a single yard. Usually it's a quarterback. Sometimes it could be a running back or a receiver, but it'll be a random player to get one yard. And if it hits, you win. So they help you win some free money right out the gate. Plus they give you the deposit match so that you have free money to play with. For this Thursday's night game, it's going to be Dak Prescott to get a single yard. And if you sign up after Thursday and you want to play for this weekend on Sunday, it'll be Patrick Mahomes to get a single yard. And on Monday night, it'll be Trevor Lawrence. Remember, sign up using code Ray to get the free play and get the $100 deposit match. You just can't beat it. 
So since Madden 24 has been released, this is how EA is viewing the game. According to Mike Straw and his sources inside EA, who again have always been pretty much spot on. And what he said was EA is pleased with Madden NFL 24, but considering changes. So what does that mean? Well, according to Mike Straw, this is what he said on the Insider Gaming website. He said the game's additions like Superstar Mode and minigames have been well received for the most part, but continued issues from past installments have plagued Madden NFL 24. That's led to meetings at EA about what exactly to do for the future of the franchise. Now the first real big tidbit of info that he dropped here is he said according to multiple sources close to the matter EA is pleased with the direction the franchise is going in they point to superstar mode as a mode to put major focus on moving forward what players got this year with superstar is just the beginning of what's planned a source says EA has years of plans outlined and an active development to grow the mode which is pretty important because if you look at competitors like NBA 2k their career mode is probably the best in all sports games now the only downside is that it's heavily heavily monetized with microtransactions and it's probably the worst part about 2k as a whole and with ea who knows if that's the same route they would go down with this mode but they still have to get the mode to that point first and have it be on the same level of nba 2k and be as immersive because right now superstar mode is not really quite up to par in my opinion with other sports games out there and with them just bringing it back for the first time this year obviously they're going to build this out over the next few years the same way that 2k did when they first introduced this mode to their game it took them seven to ten years before it really began became what we kind of know it as today. And I think EA sees that this has been neglected for so long. And also with them bringing back the NCAA football games coming this summer, that's obviously going to be a big focus in that game as well with the road to glory mode, which they already said will be in the game. And that was one of the biggest things about the college games where you could be your player in college and then port it over to Madden. And with that game dropping in less than a year, they know that they have to get superstar mode a little bit more up to par so that those two things can work seamlessly with one another like they did back in the day. Because road to glory at the end of the day as good as it could be still relies heavily on Madden to kind of finish out that story and right now superstar mode in Madden is better than what face of the franchise was the past few years but it still has a long ways to go to reach that NBA 2k level so it makes sense that they're going to really be heavily focusing on this mode going forward especially with NCAA games coming back so that's a good thing to hear now continuing on in the article here it says that said EA is still considering making changes within the Madden NFL team from bugs with the draft classes and franchise mode that still haven't been fully fixed to freezes in both in game and in the menu screens it seems that simple quality of life issues remain prevalent in the game. The team sees the effort that was put in this year, but there's still a number of small mistakes that should have been addressed that seemingly weren't, one source said. It's oversights like that that make some think it might be time for a change or two. To what extent those changes around Madden NFL could be wasn't known. One source, however, did say everything is on the table right now. Internally, EA viewed this year as a make or break release after years of clear frustration and negative feedback from its community. Sources at the time told Insider Gaming that sales alone weren't going to make the game a success for some within the company. Madden NFL 24 was the best selling game for August despite being released later in the month. It was also the sixth best selling game of 2023 as of August 26. And that is true. When he reported on this earlier this year, he said that within EA that they weren't going to look at sales alone as the bench mark for it being a make or break game because let's be honest Madden is going to sell well every single year it's the only simulation NFL game out there the NFL is a huge entity with such a big fan base Madden is going to sell well every year despite how good or bad the game may be we've seen some years of Madden that were really bad and the game still does crazy numbers so the fact that they weren't looking at numbers alone to me says that they are starting to focus a little bit more on some of the right things because it's very easy to just look at the numbers every year and say why do we need to change anything why do we need to rock the boat we're making money who cares how people feel about the game there's no other option and we're making money but they're not looking at it that way they're still noting that hey while 24 was definitely better than 23 in terms of bugs and issues and it was definitely better in terms of the additions that the game got versus 23 they're still looking at some of these smaller annoying bugs that have been happening probably particularly for franchise mode again with the draft class issue some of the freezing some of the just little stupid annoying things like equipment not working properly just 
just things that don't actually break the game, but things that just make you want to step away from the game sometimes because it's just annoying to deal with. And they're sometimes in some ways can be worse than the bigger issues because it's just so small. But when you have 20 things that are small, it just starts to add up and you feel like no matter where you turn in the game, there's always going to be some little annoying thing in your way. And the people with NEA clearly are seeing that and they're saying that there may still need to be some changes made, even though we definitely took a step up from last year. There's still too many of these little annoying things happening that shouldn't be happening and there's really no excuse i mean just look for example the kick meter bug that has happened twice this year where the ui would block the kick meter they fixed it and then with the next update it was right back in the game and they had to fix it again it's little things like that that while yes that's not really breaking the game completely you can still play the game but it's annoying to have to deal with and as soon as it's fixed it's right back in the game because of just a small oversight by whoever is responsible for it so it does look like going forward we know for sure superstar mode is going to be a huge focus building that up which is good it's one of the areas of the game that they lack the most in but also there could be some changes on the development team that could hopefully lead to a less buggy game going forward which is pretty important now moving along here to something else we could be seeing come to Madden games soon which I think is really interesting recently it was revealed that EA has a new patent that would allow you to voice in-game characters now obviously they have a ton of different games this wouldn't be just for sports games but I don't see why they wouldn't use this in sports games because it's such a big part of who they are especially when you just factor in like FIFA and Madden and how much money those games bring in I think that would be pretty interesting because as you know when you play these superstar modes these career modes and stuff like that they have the generic character voice that everybody has to use and now they have a new patent that would allow you to actually voice the in-game characters yourself and this is another article that I saw on the insider gaming website and it says here a computer implemented method of generating speech audio in a video game is provided the method includes inputting into a synthesizer module input data that represents speech content and I don't really know all the technicalities of what that means, but essentially there would be a way for you to input your voice into the game and then you could voice the characters. And with AI being such a big deal in today's world and every day it's getting better and better from just images to video to voice. I mean, there's apps and websites out there where you could input your voice and then it can spit back at you whatever you want to type into it in your voice and it sounds just like you. So it sounds like stuff like this is going to eventually be coming to video games. The only thing I find funny about this in terms of EA is that they don't even have face scanning in the game yet or at least not in Madden I don't know if they have it in any of their other games I don't think they do but they don't even have face scanning which games like 2k has so you know the fact that they don't have that in the game but they're trying to do like AI voice or stuff like that is just kind of funny to me but hopefully that would mean that they're gonna start doing some of that other stuff too because in 2023 and almost 2024 now you know those kind of things are gonna become more common and some of them already are pretty common so EA is behind in some of that stuff but it's interesting to know that the stuff that they're kind of working on and how this could potentially potentially affect Madden in the future. Now I mentioned briefly that there is a new NCAA football game coming out soon and if you want to know more about that game you can check out this video right here on the screen.